it was just a normal busy weekday in van's life the endocrinologist was sipping coffee to feel energetic in her cleaning she wasn't exhausted for overworking but she was struggling mentally as she was badly missing jimin after resolving the problem among themselves both of them were busy to their own respective lives when he was busy in her clinic while jimin just ended a world tour and the idols were allowed to spend their holidays in their own way when was on her way to home and a notification popped up when took the phone from her pocket and touched the screen she was invited to join a 7 days medical conference at germany when didn't want to attend any conference out of her caged life she found as she knew that the authority gonna inform her to attend the conference when i was trying to think something awesome excuse to avoid that 14 hour flight indeed she was unable to find a proper excuse to avoid the conference but that in itself was a damn good excuse to call him to get in touch with him when hey how are you jimin are you drunk when no but need your help if you don't help me jimin i'm not an inveller you need to tell me if you want to be helped when suggest me a strong excuse i want to avoid a mid conference at germany jimin do you have motion sickness when no jimin we are going to have a little vacation so when so jimin why don't you attend the conference when cuz you want to enjoy your vacation and you want jimin and i want you to work and want to be your last good night and fresh good day when are you kidding me jim ani when just sighed at the end of this conversation and closed her eyes next morning when opened her eyes and casually scrolled down her phone and she was shocked and nervous at the same time as she read that the famous k-pop idol jimin had arrived in la she thought he was joking but the next moment when could hear the sound of doorbell and when stepped out of the bed and walked towards the door in disbelief like she was living in a parallel world where everything seemed to be fulfilling when opened the door jimin's handsome and tired face was in front of her he was about to greet her in a surprising way but his eyes shifted to van's phone screen so you already knew that i'm coming he chuckled when come inside quickly i'm afraid of your fans and more than that i'm afraid of media jimin i won't go inside if you don't welcome me in the proper most way when i just woke up and i haven't brushed my teeth so i'm sorry i can't kiss you right now but Of course I'm happy to see you in front of my eyes please step into my little apartment dear idol Jimin you know I'm afraid of injection and I can't break your heart so give me a hug when please don't stay longer at my door step in please Jim stepped into Van's apartment and raised his arms after closing the door Van looked at him she thought she must be a little more presentable at this moment as she knew she had no underneath her t-shirt so she didn't actually respond when what's wrong with you babu i just wanted to jimin walked towards her and took her into his embrace van's body shivered as her skin felt jimin's well built body but jimin smiled I like it. Don't make this awkward and don't change this habit. When what habit? Jimin, the reason why you looked pale when I raised my arm. I guess do you really want to hear it? When stop. You are looking so tired. Why don't you take a shower? I'm going to make breakfast for you. Jimin Indeed I'm tired and need to shower but I guess you need to be refreshed too 
and most importantly you were in hurry cause you have to go to your clinic in time i guess you don't have any words to deny my proposal of showering together when but answer me how did you make it to la we just talked yesterday night jimin i guess i was wrong i thought i will surprise you but i'm wrong when no definitely not i'm exhausted believe me i need a break i needed something beside me and thank you for spending your time with me in this small apartment all when could feel a gentle pull and she was taken into the washroom jimin took his toothbrush and went to the brush when why didn't you brush jimin frowned it was early morning flight when he gave her toothbrush after giving the toothpaste here you go when while brushing her teeth just take good amount of rest you are looking so tired they both completed brushing their teeth when can i skip the shower today isn't it little cold and the next moment her white t-shirt was transparent as jimin started the shower jimin smirked indeed that's why i need something hot in front of me when looked at him though she was enjoying but still she was feeling guilty for some reason jimin noticed that but uh, he didn't speak a single word as even a single word from his mouth could be the cause of her mental breakdown they got out of the shower and jimin helped her to put on the bathrobe the tornado of emotions were forming inside her and jimin could easily assume that he took her into his embrace and made her head to rest on his masculine chest we will discuss everything at night i will listen to you and you have to listen to me too so go and get ready for your clinic and make your plan full proof ready when but jimin when i'm going to prepare the breakfast jimin walked towards the kitchen while when was directed towards the bedroom jimin while preparing scrambled eggs for both of them when i know i don't need to yell but for your kind information you are not allowed to cry if i notice your eyes are red then you are not going to be allowed to go to the clinic today after a few moments when I stepped out of the bedroom the thinking capacity of your pea sized brain is just terrible i'm not the same teenager who met you in a after party my heart is made of stone mr idol jimin i know my name is engraved in your heart of stone good for both of us now sit when took the plates from the kitchen counter while jimin was filling the glasses with water aren't you tired enough and wanna throw yourself on the bed when asked him casually jimin indeed it's hard but i want to see you going for work i want to enjoy every small moments of a normal life both of them quickly consumed their respective portion of food jimin when don't need to wash the plate otherwise i would have to wash mine too i will wash it later please when smiled and left the plate on the sink and after placing a soft peck on his lips she left for clinic in the clinic it was not a so busy day at the clinic she had a few appointments before lunch hour after that when imagination could reach the sky but interrupted as she was asked to join the meeting with the faculty about attending the medical conference at hamburg germany when actually wanted to avoid to travel to a new place for work purpose and even it was for holiday she would definitely love to cancel all these traveling things and prefer to chill at home but the higher authority officially informed her to attend the conference though she wanted to deny but the superiors didn't give her a chance to turn down the proposal at the end of the day when returned to her one bedroom apartment she was definitely upset and almost forgot about jimin's existence in her home 
she placed her fingerprint and opened the door and threw herself on the couch i don't want to pack up my luggage and go to the germany she literally cried jimena was surprised seeing the grown lady for crying because she doesn't want to travel he chuckled and walked towards the kitchen to prepare evening time coffee for them while one continued her crying jimena couldn't suppress his smile for longer time while preparing the coffee jimena walked towards the couch and cleared his throat What about taking a coffee break Dr. Wen your throat must be hurting when just stop making that awful noise and sat properly on the couch and internally she was cursing herself for her behavior thank you and sorry for Jimin sorry for what it's your home after all you must vent your anger here when yeah thanks but still i'm sorry you were disturbed for no reason jimin so what's about tonight's plan when you tell me what do you want jimin how about late night movie date when sounds good i just don't want to get ready and step out of my house jimin okay do you want to take a nap when after this cup of coffee definitely Wen took Jimin's empty coffee mug and headed towards the kitchen sink. Jimin, actually I just woke up sensing your door opening. Wen, that's all right. I need to do something to vent my anger actually. Jimin, then those fake crying screams didn't that help? Wen, no. Wen washed all the dishes very carefully. Wen, Jimin, I am still feeling tired. Jimin your bed is comfortable and I slept very well but when what but Jimin I missed you let me help you and we will nap together when thanks but no thanks i'm almost done and when sighed when knew Jimin was trying to be polite enough good enough patient enough adjusting enough to be able to be with her she finished with the cleaning thing and headed towards the bedroom jimin followed her with a smile of satisfaction on his face when casually jumped on the bed jimin walked towards her and back hugged her while sitting on the edge of the bed go and change your clothes first when clear she rise i will wear a beautiful dress on our movie date that's why i'm saving this jimin frowned He knew when was just tricking him but as she was exhausted so he let her this time It was 9 o'clock when Wan opened her eyes and almost choked seeing Jimin's handsome face by her side Wan checked awkwardly if she was drooling What Jimin what what when why are you smiling did i talk in my dreams like a pervert The obvious smirk on Jimin's face made her curious as she often dreamed of herself in his embrace. Jimin got up from the bed leaving her curious. Wen also got up and walked towards the washroom and as she stepped out she saw Jimin was all ready with his laptop and bowl of popcorn. She smiled and was about to jump on the bed but Jimin interrupted. "Where is your beautiful dress?" Wen smiled and went to change her clothes. Wen changed into an oversized comfy sweat pants and sweatshirt, stepped out from the washroom with a teasing smile on her face. "Am I looking beautiful?" Jimin looked at her and smiled. "You are looking beautiful." One could easily say that Wen had treasured that pair of shirt and pants as it actually belonged to Jimin. Jimin raised his arms and gestured her to be in his embrace. Tucking themselves under a thin sheet of fabric, he pressed the play button. Wen was trying to discuss many things and her eyes were fixed on Jimin's eyes. Jimin, isn't it romantic? when indeed but have no future jimin 
Have you seen the movie? Do you want me to change it? When will you change it if I say? Jimin, yeah, it doesn't matter that much. When then change me. Replace me with any fertile woman who can give birth to your baby. Or you might go for surrogacy. I will take the responsibility of taking care of the surrogate mother. Jimin paused the laptop but after thinking for a few seconds he shut down that and made cracked noise by moving his neck casually when look at me jimin's strong gaze almost pierced her heart she didn't dare to make eye contact but a strong yet gentle grip made her to look at him if it's your womb the sperm sample should be only mine but if it's not your womb You can't force me to let my sperm in any random or not so random woman's womb. Is it clear enough? You belong to me and I belong to you. I will never let you to break up with me for this silly reason and you should never let me to be owned by any woman too. When what will we be doing in our 50s without kids? The life will be miserable. Jimin We can go for adoption but can I ask you something when what Jimin as you know that you can't be pregnant does that mean we don't need to use while when slapped on his arm you pervert from where do you get this questions Jimin it was revolving in my mind like moon revolves around earth when I was about to open the laptop again but all she could feel tiny fingers stretching her body when she closed her eyes she was trying to keep her poker face but her fingers gently stroked in her belly then slowly moved to her rib cage